they are so uneducated that oh. they should be mocked. They should be mocked because there's no other appropriate response to this. You're not going to move four parks, 20 hotels, two water parks, downtown Disney. Yep. You don't have any leverage. You have none. Zero. Nada. You are in the corner. You want out of the corner. Grovel, rat, grovel. The um, last thing here is uh, seven uh, underpaid laborers being crushed under the weight of uh, someone else's hubris. It's 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 very communist, isn't it? <laughs> Those poor <laughs> dwarves. And I used to drive by this every day when I lived near beautiful downtown Burbank. I'm like, why are they holding up the building? Haven't the seven dwarves been exploited enough? Apparently not. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, we're going to no, create it's... a we're going to create a controversy. We we <laughs> are joking. Disney will take this seriously, and and yes. the access and legacy media types who come here True. to find out what the real news is, they'll <laughs> they'll take this seriously. Articles out tomorrow on all of your favorite clickbaiters. You know, one one of the things y'all mentioned the whole issue with Florida, and for those that may be new, because I know we we usually have a lot of new viewers with the way that I position this video on YouTube. There's probably a lot of new faces watching. We appreciate you being here. Please. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel. We do cover the uh, business side of Hollywood, or as we say here, we put Hollywood through the business and financial lens of reality here on Valiant Renegade. This is something that we like to do because, uh, frankly, it, it's very seldom out there, especially in the mainstream media, uh, to, to find the, the type of angle that we take to these stories as we do. As relation to the former uh, Reedy Creek Improvement District, now the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District. Uh, yes, they're looking at uh, billions, tens of billions of dollars uh, in new costs uh, over time for sure. Um, and and there's nothing they can do at this point, in my opinion, uh, to, to overcome the legislature. Uh, this, uh, you know, Disney is now trying to get this federal judge to basically at least proceed with the case from the constitutional quote unquote constitutional violation uh, perspective mm -hmm. uh, which of course as we've covered numerous times here on valiant renegade um the constitutional argument undermines the very special taxing district that disney had itself uh reedy creek because it's not supposed to be disney and of course uh, a corporation has no constitutional right to its own special tax district anywhere that is a privilege granted by a state legislature whether it's louisiana or florida or texas or anybody else out there uh universal never had that privilege nor did SeaWorld, nor did bush gardens or or anybody else in florida uh for that matter in terms of a theme park there are 1700 other special taxing districts that exist out there but disney was the only one only big one, I should say, that had its own set of special rules and privileges. So they're going to have a very tough time uh, because the Florida state case of the countersuit filed by the board of the new uh, uh, Central Florida Tourism Oversight District, that's going to take precedence before a federal judge really wants to dive in because, uh, frankly, there is no First Amendment violation here. This is all Fugazi. This, this was a junk spaghetti against the wall uh, you know, curveball that Disney threw to get it in front of a federal court. They had to come up with something because they knew they would lose in state court. They have no standing against the legislature there. Uh, so they came up with this, this bogus uh, takings clause and this bogus First Amendment violation uh, mm -hmm. that just doesn't exist for them. Um, so in any case, go just ahead. Just to kind of add to what you're saying. It sounds like um, the dogs agree. Oh, yeah, I hear them. The dogs agree. <laughs> Just to kind of add to that, like a little, little bit more uh, Floridian, Floridian flavor. Disney is not looked upon very favorably in this state. Outside of Orange County, people tend to forget Florida is made up of more than just Orange County and part of Seminole County. You've got a Florida legislature that is predominantly Republican right now, a governor that is knocking out of knocking it out of the park with signing legislation that the majority of the voting public agrees with. And you also have Disney who has been allowed to get away with 
more than any other company would have been allowed to get away with for years in the state. Here you go, Lorena. This is what we're talking about. The media be stupid. This is still what's... This is in response... This is in response to what you just heard on the earnings call. People like Deadline Magazine, I'm sure if I pull up Variety, I mean, Mm -hmm. their their writers are even worse than Deadline's uh, when it comes to any common sense, um, with some exceptions maybe. But this would you, Bob Iger chides Ron DeSantis, do you want our business? Do you want our taxes or not? Slams the Florida governor's false narrative and retaliation. What is the alternative? You're going to pick up your parks and leave? Let I'm, me, gonna, let me, I'm just, sorry. I just, I just I like wanna, in my head. Y'all, y'all have your thoughts. He, I, got, I got to say this, though. I'm sorry. I'm going to talk to the Hollywood trades right now. Y'all listening? Y'all watching? I hope y'all are. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to Deadline. I'm talking to THR. I'm talking to Variety. I'm talking to all these morons out there that can never get this right. You don't know what you're doing. You just don't. Please stop writing stupid headlines like this. Bob Iger, your boy, that you are in love with, right? I'm sure he sends you all kind of money for advertising, all kind of little perks and freebies like he does to most Disney shills out there. Uh, You know, all the pixie dusters and the Diz Twitter people, y'all not that much different. We get it. Here's the reality check. They're going to lose. All your little articles that you write like this and your little emotional reactions to things that Bob Iger says on an earnings call Y'all going to have a lot of egg on your face here in the not-too-distant future. You've had a lot of egg on your face for the last year because people like me and Pro and Lorena and Legal Mindset, we've been calling this stuff for a year. We've been telling you what's going to happen with this case. And so far to this point, we've been right on the money every step of the way. It's not because we're wizards or geniuses. It's just because we take a pragmatic business approach to things and look at things through a lens of reality and say, well, no. That's not going to work out. This is a 1967 deal. This isn't the same deal these other taxing districts have. Y'all don't seem to understand this. And it's stuff like this. It's stuff like this. I'm sorry. You're going to get made fun of and you deserve it. Because this is not something that is well researched. I mean, that kind of headline is just silly to me. That's just silly. You know, it's like like if you had something so wrong. Imagine for a moment if uh, there was an article on Deadline about how the city of New York is really struggling, struggling under Governor Newsom. You get my drift there? That's the governor mm-hmm. of California. So imagine mm-hmm. if somebody, if you did that, you, we just have to laugh. You just have to say, well, that person has, you know, why are they writing articles? They have no clue what's going on. And this is on that same level. There, I mean, there is no sane person on the planet who thinks that Disney could stop their business, stop paying taxes, so uh, what, do, what are we supposed to do with this? It's like a five-year-old wrote it. I'm sorry. Who's the author? Yeah. Oh, don't, don't uh, be sorry. Dominic probably... Patton, Ted Johnson. I don't know. But the way, the right, way they happens. say it, it's like, you know, the it's correct juvenile. headline would have been, you know, Bob Iger in in a fit of, of uneducated rage goes after Ron DeSantis, you know, at pounding his fists on the earnings call like a petulant child. Do you yes. want our business or not? And yeah, to what Lorena was saying, and Pro, you were saying, and Lorraine, I'm going to give you the final thoughts on this one because I know you got to go, but you know, Disney can't move. Stop with this out there. I'm tired. There's two things on YouTube people constantly bring up in the comments and all this, and I get it. I, you're passionate. I understand. Number one, no, the Walt Disney Company is not going bankrupt anytime soon. Number two, no, they can't move out of the state of Florida. They can't move the Magic Kingdom. You're talking about uh, probably 50 to $100 billion of capital expenses. That's more than half or the, of, of Disney's entire market value. That cannot happen. They cannot leave Orlando. No, they can't go rebuild in South Carolina. The reason they're in Orlando where they are is because they could open a theme park 24-7, 365. They don't have to worry about snowstorms and all this closing parks like Dollywood three, four months out of the year and all this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. They can't go anywhere else. They're in Florida, and the state of Florida knows – they have them. And you know what? If Disney doesn't invest and they don't want to keep expanding their parks, Disney's the one that's going to suffer over time. Who do you think's enjoying the hell out of that threat? Universal. Universal, Universal right now is like, oh, oh, you want to stop investing? 
That's right. I mean, how, they're, like, they're loving this. Well, <laughs> Universal <laughs> will pick up all that business. They don't oh, care. Yeah. They, they will get it all. And, and Florida and that's, won't and that's miss why. This is just, you know, this is like, it's like mean girl sass online. These people have no idea. Yes. They are so uneducated that oh. they should be mocked. They should be mocked because there's no other appropriate response to this. There isn't. No. And it's just like, again, when I, when I read articles like this, unfortunately, it brings back memories of living in Los Angeles where you'll get some intern that'll write some article like this that just shows a Hollywood attitude. You people over in flyover country, you don't know what's good for you. So you need to have a good talking to. So that's why they have Bob Iger saying, do you want our business taxes or not? Well, guess what? You don't have a choice. Florida is going to get your business, is going to get your taxes, which they've been getting. You're not going to like Valiant was saying, you're not going to move four parks, 20 hotels, two water parks, downtown Disney. Well, I'm really going back. Disney, they call it Disney Springs now. Whatever you're it is now. You're not going to move all that. Where are you going to go? Yeah. What other state is going to give you the accommodations that you have here? And for my fellow pixie dusters, I know pixie dust is a hell of a drug. That's why I give it you know a bunch of bunch of leeway yep. if you want to see what happened the last time disney tried to do a park post what was in florida go look up disney's america yeah go see how <laughs> that went over okay i mean i i know just just look it up just look it up it didn't end well and you know what all. most other people don't ever consider with this lorena and pro is that if Disney moves out of Florida, people think, well, they'll sell all the property that they have and, and then use that to reinvest. I've heard that when I'm like, um, <laughs> do you know what the book value of that property is worth to Disney versus what the actual market value is to anyone else? We're, uh, we're uh, orders of magnitude yes. apart. Because it's not like, let's pretend that Disney would sell all of its property that it has there and move to South Carolina or whatever people think it'll do. And first, um, there's no business that would buy it. Well, exactly. Well, yeah, but let's pretend for a second that somebody. Let's pretend that Comcast would come in and go. All right, we'll buy it. Disney's going to be like, sure, we want a hundred billion dollars for that property, and and but but <laughs> you can't use the castle, the Epcot ball, anything on the showcase. You have to tear all that down. What tear is that property? Down. What is the property really worth to anybody else? Next to nothing compared to what it's worth for Disney. Because they can't reutilize any of the buildings, the infrastructure on it. Disney's never going to allow something like that. The only thing that property is worth is the swampland, the dirt it's sitting on. Every structure, every building on there, maybe the hotels would be able to be kept. But as far as the parks themselves, there's no way Disney's going to let them walk out with using all of that Disney looking property, it's just, that's what, that's the point. They're it, stuck. It's folks. an They're unsellable. Stuck. It's done. It's an unsellable property unless, I mean, I, I guess everything's sellable at some point, but I mean, what? For pennies on the dollar. It's unsellable. It is non transferable, essentially. You can't move it. You can't stop running it. Nope. It's just there. And these articles just go through the headline what's wrong in it. Bob Iger chides Ron DeSantis. Well, how about this? Why would you chide someone who can literally put toll roads now all over your property and charge every one of your buses $100 every time it passes by? Yep. You don't have any leverage. You have none. Zero. Nada. You are in the corner. You want out of the corner. Grovel, rat, grovel. Grovel. Yeah.